This is Mike Duncan with the St. Louis County Department of Planning. I'm here to show you how best to use our updated mapping website, maps.stlouisco.com property view. First, I want to show you our homepage for all mapping applications, maps.stlouisco.com. Here you'll find news about enhancements and links to other mapping applications, such as the county police crime map. Note the discussion in the yellow box of users reporting their browsers finding older versions of the application. This is solved by clearing the browser cache. See the account in the yellow box for full instructions. Now we'll look at property view. As you open the page, you'll see an entry screen with basic information on navigation tools and property information and terms of use, which you accept by clicking here. Property view starts at the map of St. Louis County. You can navigate the map in several ways. As you zoom in, you'll see additional map layers, including 2008 aerial photography, and county street and parcel maps that are updated weekly. Notice the toolbar at the top and the information column on the left hand side. You can use the scale bar to zoom in and out. You can also use the zoom tools in the toolbar for a custom zoom. Just click and drag to zoom in or out. You can also zoom using your mouse wheel. Forward zooms in, backward zooms out, and you can use the plus and minus keys on the keyboard to zoom. You can move in the map by panning. Click the pan tool and drag the map in the direction that you want to go. You can also move around using the directional arrows on your keyboard. If you wish to return to the starting map, click full extent. Now we'll look at finding property information. Two ways to do this, a text search and a graphic search. For a text search, you just type in an address, owner name, or parcel ID in the search box on the left hand side. I'll look for properties owned by the Clayton School District. I'll type Clayton School. Less is more when typing in these search terms. Partial matches work fine. And it brings back 16 properties. Notice that they are shaded in red on the map now. As we hover on one, it turns blue. That indicates that it is the selected property within the larger group. If you click the down arrow, you'll see an expanded listing of information about the property which includes links to useful information such as the property link which takes you to the revenue department's assessor website with detailed property information opening in a separate window. We'll go back to our property view window. For a graphic search, you have used the blue dot to select a single property or the blue rectangle to select multiple parcels. First of all, we'll clear our existing selection. Then we'll click the blue dot and we'll pick an individual property. We zoom to it. It shows up in the information column. We click the down arrow to get the detailed information. Clicking the rectangle, we move to the map. We draw a rectangle over the parcels we're interested in and they are all selected. As we move to the information column, the one that we're hovering on turns blue and the map shifts to zoom to that map. Printing and saving. We can print with the tool, the print tool on the toolbar in the upper right hand corner. We click print, gives us the option of putting in a custom title. Click, warns you that the map prints out best in landscape. Click OK and print. We'll hit the X to clear this away. If we'd like to save a PDF version, go to the tool menu, go to save PDF. Again, you have the option of changing your title. Click Save to PDF, and it will save it to your local drive. Display options. The 2007-2008 sales data can be clicked on or off using the checkbox, and the aerial photo can also be clicked off or back on. If you wish to see unincorporated zoning, 
go to the Map Layers tab on the Information column. Click it on or off using the checkbox. Thanks for listening, and I hope this was helpful.